Yes, it is. Good, good morning, CCI. Happy Sunday to you. Uh, just in the way of announcements, please pray for traveling mercies for Gabby as she goes back to the mainland today. Don't worry, she'll be back. She loves it here. Yay! <laughs> so we have a very important week. Um, it's Thanksgiving on Thursday. Yay! We should always be thankful all the time, but um, make sure you guys come. There's no service on Wednesday. Whoa! So don't, if you don't see any of your friends here at church and you talk to them later, <laughs> tell them no service on Wednesday. Thanksgiving service at 10 a.m. So Thursday, what time are you going to be here? 10! Okay. So we're going to have an awesome worship session and a good word on Thursday for Thanksgiving. We'll be fed after, of course, because we love to eat here at CCI. Um, and then th uh, Sunday, our regular times, 8.30, 10 o'clock. And then the following, let me get this right. Sorry, guys, I have to use my, my phone because I, I don't remember it all the time. Yeah, so next week, Tuesday, will be prayer night at 7 p.m. here at CCI. So make sure you're here. That's going to be December 1st. It's already December, guys. But um, so join us after, after service. We're going to be celebrating Kahea's first birthday. <laughs> It, it was also Hazen's birthday, so we're going to have a little birthday treat for you guys after. Um, and then Auntie Sandra wanted to come up and share something. Come on up, Auntie Sandra. You have to actually speak into this mic. Sandra! She wanted to share, so everybody, Auntie Sandra. Uh, I know testimonies are to be given on Wednesday, but being we're not going to have Wednesday night. What's that? Oh, I will. okay. This is not a deliverance or, a, you know, a healing. But it's sentimental to me and my family. One day this week, my wedding rings, I always wear them yet. Rick is, my husband has been deceased for a year and a half now. And after 53 and a half years, the band has worn off. And I should have taken it off at that period of time when I noticed it, but I didn't. Well, right in here now are two pieces of my engagement ring. And only by the grace of God, I was able to, to find it again. This morning, at 1.00, 1 o'clock this morning, I had to use the bathroom. Somehow, I looked on my finger and my ring was gone. And I cried out to God. And I said, sentimental to me is to be handed down to my children. And I said, Lord, please help me to find that ring. Whether it was missing already during the week, I don't know. But somehow, there was a flash to me. And he says, go look in the can, the rubbish, in my kitchen can. And I said, what? He said, go look in the can. Well, yesterday, Paige and Maka helped me decorate a Christmas tree, which we put up early this year. And there were particles all on my steps, broken pieces. Picked it up, grabbed it, threw it in the can. But when this morning he tells me to go look in the can, I go there, can. So I go to the can, 1 o'clock in the morning, in the kitchen on the floor, taking out the rug. Thank God it was only half filled. Taking out everything, put it in a new container. And there was one piece, the diamond part of it, half of it, was in the bottom. And I just cried, and I thanked God right there, and I said, Lord, thank you, thank you. The other piece wasn't there. I said, now I'm going to find the other piece. And 
again, the flash went. And he says, in the basket. In the basket? Well, yesterday, after we decorated the tree, the container that all the ornaments were in, I took it out in the backyard and I, you know, cleaned it out. And as I cleaned it, there was one piece that stuck to the container. Not realizing at that time, it was the other piece of my ring. Otherwise, it would have fallen on the grass as I dumped out the rest of the rubbish. And he said, in the basket, the light flash. Sure enough, I walked in my laundry area where I keep the fabric softeners after it's been used and I put it there. It was right on the top. So today, two pieces are in here. I will have it, I will have it redone, but I needed this uplift in my life. God is real. Let me tell you, he's so real. And I thank God. To somebody, it may just be something that, you know, ain't no value. But to me, it is. After 53 and a half years, it means a lot. And I thank you for hearing it. Thank you. Amen. Well, praise the Lord. We are so thankful for every answered prayer. Amen. Amen. So we like to take the time to take the Lord's tithes and offering as a uh, Josh you get us ready to worship Be 